probably 20 seconds ago. Um, hello back, uh, folks. Hello, hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Lost Wolf is actually back. Perfect timing. Yes. Now, the second part of this uh, Twin Stick Game Club uh, Deus Ex thing is us discussing uh, when we will actually do the second one. I'm completely not making any sense. Billy, <laughs> you have to you have to save <laughs> us. Yeah, save, save our leader. We're going to be talking okay. about when the, the the lost. time length we have from now until when we're going to do our next podcast on Deus Ex for the game club. So uh, we're thinking we're going to get through the Hong Kong mission. Uh, that's what we've agreed on, right? We'll get through well, the Hong yeah. Kong area. So how long do, are we going to need for that? I mean... It took what? Well, how long was it since we started this? Like a month? A month uh, and a half? I I just I just pulled up when he posted the original Twinstick Game Club post. That was on the seventeenth. Today is the sixth, so it was a little less than three weeks. Was the ah. time that we gave ourselves to beat one level. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's gonna well, be bad. Well, so like two thousand seventeen is what we're looking at. Well, we in that we had to allow for people to acquire the game, so. That's true. Know. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can say we, we could allow maybe two weeks at most. I'm not sure, but I two, think two, I'm Two, two weeks. Help, guys. At, at most. To get to the at next... Most. next Help. At, I'd say at least. No? How about, at we least, go, yeah. how about we go a month? Like, I'm graduating. I, I, I got right. shit to do. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have the time to get through that many, uh, that much yeah. of Deus Ex that quickly. Yeah. No, I, right, I love fine. the game, that's too. Fine. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say let's give it a month, which would be, what is that? It would be the 3rd of June would be a the month third. from now. To get to the midpoint? Uh, yeah. If, if, if we're doing a month. If we're doing, we don't have to do a month. We can do, like, three weeks again. Let's All right, do... yeah, let's do three weeks. Okay, let's do three okay. or something like that. I mean, we were supposed to record this episode four days ago or so. So oh. <laughs> okay. So That's are we going to say yeah. the the twenty seventh then of May? Something like that. Wait a second. Twenty uh, seventh <laughs> of May uh, could be that I'm <laughs> actually not at home. So he's like, I've got a bank heist that day. Can we <laughs> do it the twenty eighth? I got all day off. Yeah, I have to finance Twin Stick somehow. Um, <laughs> June first. Uh, yeah, some uh, somewhere around the end of May, I would say. Yeah. Oh, well, why would you start June first? This time. June first. Is everybody gonna be able to meet up on a Monday? No I can't. idea. Um, no idea. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Dr. S is like, yeah. I have no... I'm not even looking at my calendar. Just like before, we'll figure it out once we've <laughs> yeah. all beaten the level. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are we've best when like we are unorganized. We've only got like five or six levels to beat, so it's not, you know... Well, well, is there a specific day of the week we want to do this podcast? Yeah, the day where everyone is available, I would say. <laughs> That's... If we could, if we could get down like a schedule, I think our viewership would like go crazy <laughs> through the roof. But our, our schedule is just like whenever we feel like it. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think and if we time, would, yeah. if we would get organized, nobody would we, watch we, us because this wouldn't be funny at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is this is like watching a train our, wreck, our, uh, our, in our progress. Our logo on the back of our T-shirts wouldn't make sense anymore because yeah. we'd be totally. Professional at like, that point. I yeah. would have to burn this T-shirt, and I have to keep it at least Dr. until S Gamescom. Has a point, man. Are, you, are you gonna wear the T-shirt to Gamescom? Yep. Awesome. That's mm. awesome. <laughs> My plan was to uh, storm the stage during the Sony press conference, but we all know now that this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> you can just mm. bring your own Sony banner and like put it up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is the Sony for, press conference. Where, I Sony declare. <laughs> Hold your own Sony press table. conference. Like yeah, uh, stock tanks. I I I uh, print out a Shui Yoshida uh, face and put it on me. <laughs> you just you just bring like PS2 copies of copies of Sly Cooper. You just set those on a table. People go. So are you guys going to make more of those? Like. Don't say anything. Just, just stare at them. I think this product speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah. All he has to do is announce a release date for the Last Guardian. 
<laughs> but then everyone, uh, everyone would know that it's a fake. So I don't shit know. would just light up. Just say soon. Be like the okay. last guardian coming when soon. When it's done. Yeah. <laughs> can't 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 do soon. That's that's coin to Blizzard speak. Hmm. Uh, what about Valve? What's Valve say for Half Life? Oh, they don't say anything, huh? Yeah. Just no, like... that, that, yeah that, that's true. They, they they just don't do anything. Gabe Newell, when's Half Life Three coming out? What's a Half Life? I, uh... Yeah, what, what's that? That's something know. we do. That's half. I can I can it. already imagine them if they're even gonna make the game, they would they would do like a oh it's a VR only and it's only gonna run on the Vive. Yeah, <laughs> would make sense actually. Honestly, I think it would be a totally what they bad did with Half Life Two to make Half Life Three. I I think that you cannot live up to the hype at this point. No, um, they shouldn't do it. Like they're it smart. Would, they know that it's not it, going. Yeah, it'd it be would be off. They it should not. Probably do. wouldn't be as bad as Duke Nukem Forever, but it would Maybe be not that hype, so. No, it, uh, yeah. If we had Gearbox make fucking Half Life Three, it would be. But <laughs> what I think it'd be hilarious uh, is if they came out with Half Life Two Episode Three, and just like didn't put out a new <laughs> game, nothing. Just put it out on Half Life Two, and they're like, "There we go. Stop asking." <laughs> Half-Life 2 Episode 3, yeah. They, and they, it's gonna be a free download about Gordon, uh, 20 Gordon minutes Gordon and long. Alex get to the top of the mountain finally and they just go, oh, I guess I guess it was over. And that's <laughs> it. Not that's not the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ship just like, like, you know, like just fades. It just fades away. No explosion, no nothing. It's just it fades away. And they should I release guess, it on April I guess that's 1st. Gone. So everybody is completely confused. <laughs> And then at the end, after all the credits have rolled, it says, this is because you didn't like paid mods. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. oh, man. Mm. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Bethesda still tries to do like a paid mod thing with Fallout 4 at E3. I think they will. They were setting that up for you know what they they might have done this knowing that it would just raise the ire and tank incredibly because now what, once the internet has gotten pissed off about something you can't get that rage back again not to the same level um, so now everybody <laughs> freaked out about it i'm fairly certain that if they would do it now uh, if they would release fallout 4 with uh, paid mods then about well 20 percent of the internet wouldn't buy fallout 4 yeah, yeah I'd twenty percent of the internet didn't buy Fallout Three because it was a first-person shooter. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're losing audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're also gaining audience at the same time, and I think maybe like a lot of the, all of them, like a lot of the modern interviews that I saw was just like you know the one uh, that I read from you. They seem to be pretty for it. The Total Biscuit one that I watched, they all seem to be pretty for it. I feel, and the modern community is probably big enough to just keep that game afloat for forever. Like. Even if they lose some people with with doing that, they would totally gain a, a whole new audience just because you could get paid for making mods for a game. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, like, there are if, people if, I'm they, sure who didn't play Dota two but started making mods for it just because they could make money on it. You know, they were three yeah, yeah, artists, and they were like, "Hey, yeah, well, yeah." I'd, I'd imagine so. Maybe they, you know, they did in the spare time, but they, you know, didn't ever, you know, get hired by a game company or something like that, or they just don't have the the will to do it. But they were like, "Yeah, I like doing this in my free time, and you know, I could uh, make make some swords and get paid for it." I still have this vision uh, in front of my head that uh, they will announce Fallout Four uh, during E three, and then they will uh, tell us that they won't include mods. No mod support for Fallout 4 <laughs> because you guys suck and that's it. <laughs> Drop the mic like, and so he goes off the stage. That'd be fun. It's it's Todd Howard too. That's like the first we've seen of him like since Skyrim was like being marketed and he's just like, "What's up, guys? Um, thanks for being dicks." <laughs> just drops the mic and walks away. <laughs> I guess you don't I, like supporting I, creators. I'd like to see them be like, you know what? We're gonna have. Fallout 4, it's going to have the best modding tools available, but it's only on console now. And watch as like, the, the modding community on PC just explodes. It's like the Forge in Halo 3. It's like the most ridiculous <laughs> yeah. backwards shit to try to build any fucking thing ever. And that's that's how you make mods for games now. Exactly. <laughs> or they will uh, include horse armor modding tools and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> you can make all the horse armor you want, but yeah. it yeah, costs. First off, I want to ask, why, 
Why is there an armored horse in Boston? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have like an in-game story reason. Like a horse just appears in front of your character. In full plate armor. It's not. It's not rusted or anything. It's like a glow. It just looks like it's straight out of oblivion. <laughs> In, in concept, anyway, but it is the prettiest model in the whole game. Like it is over five million polygons. <laughs> Nobody can run it over three frames a second, even on like the basic sheets. <laughs> and it will follow you everywhere. And uh, should you lose it, it will uh, spawn right in your face again. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you turn away from it for yeah. a second, like you turn to look at something uh, and it's right there. Like in a one Sherlock Holmes game where Watson was always uh, teleporting. Every time you looked away and then, uh, well, turned 360 degrees, Watson would uh, show up somewhere else. And just like that, the horse would be, you go uh, and go and go and turn left and suddenly, <laughs> horse right in front of your face. That's awesome. Uh, I wanna, they, they need to do this now. This oh is something yeah. that needs to happen. The first, uh, at least it's like a joke. <laughs> Listen to us. <laughs> we certainly know how to grow your audience. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you remember uh, what was that game? Serious Sam Three. Uh, if you pirated it, you uh, yeah, the, the got attacked by like the giant scorpion, red mm. scorpion thing. You could yeah. just have like giant horse testicles like chasing you <laughs> through Fallout. <laughs> it's just like why? But when you torrent, when you torrent someone's mods, that's what happens to you. <laughs> 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 yeah, you get the, the helmet of horse testicles, uh, which is like a. <laughs> I don't even want to see the model for that. <laughs> oh, I already see it in my head. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> no, everything will turn out fine with Fallout 4. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. sure. This all had a lot to do with Deus Ex, too. We <laughs> I know, right? Like, we totally got off topic. Yeah. Paid mods, horse armor, it's all Invisible War's fault. <laughs> By the way, don't Google horse head testicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why would anybody Google that? That's like one of the first things you need to know when you get on the internet is like there are certain phrases you shouldn't just just don't google it you know if you google this uh, also try two girls one cup and goatsy don't try any of those <laughs> <laughs> oh there's the beep mm, I was trying to find the beep oh man 50 shades of horse <clears throat> armor yeah Fossil's got it <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this a I'm on the tweets. Uh, oh man. Yeah, there are a lot of tweets about this. Seriously? No, no, it's just my Twitter feed. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually something I was gonna mention, Cody, when you uploaded your uh your video of you playing more of the Triad Wars, when it uh -huh. when you told it to uh tweet it, it tweeted through my account. And I thought it was real. Like I got a, I got a tweet. I noticed that I tweeted. I thought it was, was weird like, that you tweeted what? about that. I was like, wow, well, Billy must like my playthroughs. I guess I didn't think. I didn't think he cared that much. Like the second you posted up, I was like, oh my god, he's got a new one. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was like sitting on the couch, like. Watching Daredevil or something, and then I'm like scrolling through Twitter, and I'm just like, "Oh, Billy posted about my thing. I guess it must be up." <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, for so, I guess maybe I changed our uh, our YouTube account just to just tweet through my account or something instead of the twin stick one on accident. I'll have to look at that because that's not good. <laughs> no. But I did. I uh, got the Triad Wars beta going. I downloaded it. I still haven't got in yet. So is there like, any actual it. multiplayer? There's not any actual multiplayer. I l I asked the the guys and they're like, no, it's not in yet. Oh, there's yeah, no but it's multiplayer. Coming. There's going to be. It's not in yet. There That's is the uh, what of that game? Well, no, here's here's well, there's there's going to be, but it's not in yet. But here's what you can do right now. Um, you you ever play the game Mighty Quest for Epic Loot? Yep. 
No, but I, I thought about it. That 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 mechanic is is what's in Triad Wars right now. Like once you oh, build like your base, attack, yeah. you yeah you you go and attack your friends' bases and try to get all their things and then beat their in-game character. But without the traps and yeah, without yeah. all the traps and all the fun. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> yeah so I didn't just, want it to say it, but yeah. You just have a room yeah. with a couple of guys in it, and like you're like, ah, oh, there we go. It's my yeah, base. Well, yeah, like in in my videos when I go attack their bases and you gotta like you take down their fish market and their like counterfeiting ring, or you don't have to do that. You just run and kill the boss. But yeah, that's that's what you do to your friends. You do that to your friends' places, and it costs them money if you're successful. So that's it. So you're just kind of like a a dick to your friends. Like that's the yep. whole point of the game. Just piss off your friends. I guess, well, I mean, later you'll be able to play with your friends, but I don't know if it's it's limited to just doing that to other people's things, or if you actually get to roam around Hong Kong together. But um, oh, are, they, are they calling it Sleeping Dogs Unfriended Edition? Because <laughs> I can see a lot of my friends being like, fuck you, I love that fish market. <laughs> <laughs> took me Sorry, I, I, to I cursed that there. Fish I, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I spent 36 hours building up that fish market. When I first started, probably, nobody was coming. Probably would take that fucking long. That that aspect seems a bit grindy, but just running around it, Hong Kong's fine and fun. It's at least it's not up. APB. They've got that going for them. Yeah. So let's wrap this up. I would say all the fun uh, got used up. All the fun. Is <laughs> All Talk the fun is like used up. Sucker. There's yeah. no more fun anymore. No. <laughs> We're done. We're drained. Um, anyway, what's coming up, guys? Um, Andrew, any plans? Anything you're writing? Anything you are uh, singing? <laughs> <laughs> no um, idea. <laughs> no, no, no plans at the moment. I'm kind of no singing? Thinking about it. <clears throat> thinking about my next article. Okay. Cody, uh, our secret project. I know I still have to do a video on it. Um, okay. But feel free to, to make it yourself if you have any uh, oh, okay. yeah, funnies I, I, left I in you. Any fun? Well, yeah, I, 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 I told you I could edit it together, but uh, you said you had some ideas for it. Yeah, but I, I had, I but it, it didn't turn out that great, so <laughs> I have to give okay. it another try. Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe dick around with that. Uh, Okay. Sometime later on Friday when I have time. Okay, Billy, did you uh, uh, try out the thing I sent you? The thing you s oh oh no, I have not done that yet. Um, I will do that uh, tomorrow. Unprofessional actually. behavior. I know, I know. I totally because you told me not to to put it up that day, and then I totally forgot about it. No, you shouldn't uh, put it up, but you should record it. Yeah, I'll get it recorded. I'll get it recorded. Okay. <laughs> Billy, your Twitter account is the only connected Twitter account to the Twin Stick thing. I'm going I to. I keep tweeting shit that I don't. Know. I, I, I am, know I'm going I to connect. <laughs> no, don't disconnect I'm... it. Don't disconnect it. I want to. <laughs> it's, too, it's too late. Ah, uh, come on. I want uh, to I tweet something. I don't want like... it to connect. I don't want it to connect my account. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, now I can con uh, tweet I like horse testicles from Cody's <laughs> account. Great. You can, you can now. <laughs> ah, I have to do this quick. <laughs> no, nope, I'm disabling it again. God ah. damn it, internet, stop slowing down. <laughs> no, internet, slow down all you can. <laughs> no. <laughs> How can I do this? How can I do this quick? You'd have to make a video, you suck. <laughs> Okay, I make a video, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> Wait, I can just uh, use one of the uh, of those videos we already made. Uh, tweet and this uh, is my I don't think I can actually. Ah, come on! Is it still connected? Not for long. Uh, shit! 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 shit. <laughs> 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 Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't it working? Uh. Oops, um. something went wrong! God damn it, Google! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> okay, oh. um, Emma, nope. Ah! How can I do this? Help me, Billy! 
I, I don't know. I only do it when I upload a video. And apparently when MDPL uploads a video, so... <laughs> Um, okay, I can't uh, tweet out your uh, Kaichi no Gogo thing with Cody's uh, account. Well, okay, let's 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 stop being stupid. Um, what's what else is coming up for you, Billy? Tell us. Okay, so um, I'm still working on the uh, fine arts. That's coming along quite nicely, but it turned into a much bigger project than I thought. Uh, but we have a new series coming out. It's called Twin Peaks, which I'm very happy with that name. Um, it's basically a... Oh, copyright infringement. Oh, it, oh my god, no, there's an advertisement coming up on my screen. Go away. Okay. Uh, <laughs> professionalism. Yeah. So it's twi the new series is Twin Peaks, and the idea is that it's a quick review show. It's We're not going to finish the games and, and then review them. It's just going to be kind of a fast thing. Uh, so I've got Kaiju Gogo -Go coming up on that. And then I gotta start playing Chroma Squad, which uh, I'm gonna be putting up a review for that mm. uh, over the next. Hopefully by the end of the next week, I'll have a review for Chroma Squad. But I'm hoping by Friday I will have the Kaiju Go Go uh, Twin Peaks episode up. And if you can't wait uh, that long for Chroma Squad, you will find two videos of it on this uh, Hitbox channel. Actually, me playing yes. it. Pretty fun so far. Watch it. It's it, I've I've watched I've watched him play it. It's very interesting. Yep. Um, Cody, any words uh, any words about uh, Chroma Squad? Have uh, you heard I about it? Haven't checked it out. Haven't okay. haven't seen it. Haven't had the time. Been busy getting graduation stuff ready and all that stuff. So. Andrew, School. Power Rangers fan. What? Are you a Power Rangers fan? Oh, it's that game. Yep. I saw the uh, game at GDC. Not really. I was. Back a long time ago. Well, then check out Chroma Squad. <laughs> I, yeah, how, I would mean, it, how, how would it be for someone who doesn't give a shit about the Power Rangers? <clears throat> probably still not fun, as, actually. Yeah, it's probably oh, going to be cool. fun, but not as as interesting. It's kind of like playing I mean, the... I don't give a shit about Power Rangers. Yeah, I All think right, you'll sweet. enjoy it more if you do care. Like uh, like Knights of Pen and Paper. <laughs> if you have played D&D &D before, uh, the actual Pen and Paper one, you'll you'll enjoy it a little bit more, but it's still fun. Yep. Yeah, it's basically a turn-based uh, tactical RPG, more or less. Oh, well, then I'll, I'll play that, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah uh, it has very slight management aspects. I mean, it's basically just upgrading uh, your stats so you can make more money, so you can upgrade more. But it's still fun, and, yeah, uh, interesting uh, twist on the whole RPG thing. Those guys, that development team is is very interesting with the stuff they do. Like they're taking old stuff that we've already known for so long, but they're kind of putting their own twist on it and, mm. and looking at it in a new light, which I really enjoy. Yeah, and they make uh, perfectly awesome mobile games, which also work yeah. on PC, which is well, yeah, quite yeah, an that's achievement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of like them better on PC because then you don't have to worry about much of the microtransaction stuff or or anything like that. Were there any uh, microtransactions yeah. in Knights of Pen and Paper? I want to say uh, yes. I don't remember. Yeah. Well, they did uh, Monster Jam too a while back. I don't remember that one. I don't think I was. I saw it. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's a like a dual player on one keyboard game. Two kaiju's oh. fighting it out. It's fun. Oh, okay. Sounds cool. Hmm. Really simple. Every time I hear that that word now, I just want to go back and play Kaiju Oko. Oh, oh. Like, <laughs> it's got it's got problems, and the newest It'll patch work. really really barked some things. But man, I've been having fun just setting entire districts on fire and like watching the fire spreads as I'm standing there, and I just start laughing. It looks <laughs> awful. <laughs> it looks it looks like a lot of fun. Lost yeah. Wolf just mentioned that a buddy of his got through uh, Knights of Pen and Paper, I guess, without spending any money. Oh, 99% wow. of it he managed. That's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's it then for today, I would say. I think yeah. so. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Then, uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> and it was, it was fun. It's always um, fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's never stupid. It's always Disagree. stupid, but... That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's no. fun. Well, it's okay, no. okay. It's always stupid <laughs> if I'm on board. 
<laughs> we need that t-shirt. It's always stupid if I'm on board, yeah. I need that as a bumper sticker for my car. <laughs> it's always stupid if Dr. S is on board or... <laughs> yes. Uh, I, vote, like... I vote we change on board to a different kind of, like, here. Because on board implies boats, and then it is definitely stupid. <laughs> you just hate boats. Yes. I'm getting you a boat for Christmas. No. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna I think I like, still have a copy of a uh, ship simulator uh, to gift. Oh. Ship simulator <laughs> extreme or whatever it was called. Um. <laughs> it's not oh, even a fun no. ship game. It's just simulating. Mm. No, no, no ships. None of that. <laughs> I won't play Black Flag. I refuse to get in boats in GTA. I'm not doing it. Well, boats in GTA aren't, uh, aren't fun, but Black Flag was pretty fun. Uh, they're boats. Nothing is fun about them. <laughs> <laughs> well, blowing up other boats is pretty fun. Yes, that's a lot of fun. Blowing up boats is great. <laughs> it's putting a boat where it belongs, at the bottom of the fucking ocean. Anyway. <laughs> anyway I would argue that that's the exact opposite place that a boat belongs. <laughs> no. If it's at the bottom, not. you've fucked up. You messed up real bad. Well, mm. logic dictates that uh, the Titanic was the most prestigious uh boat ever created and it is and um, look at where it went it winded up exactly yeah, where the most so prestigious boat should be yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> logic dictates the iceberg was smarter than all the people on the boat yep <laughs> survival of the uh, coldest well whatever uh, let's <laughs> <laughs> let's seriously wrap this up um, I was I am Dr. S uh, this was Cody. <laughs> Say bye, Cody. Bye, Cody. Uh, Billy. Bye. Billy. And Andrew. Has left the call. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay, say oh. bye, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But not for much longer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Goodbye, Andrew. Goodbye, bye. Andrew. Oh, there he is. Okay. Goodbye, Lost Wolf. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye, Lost Wolf. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody in the chat room. Lost Wolf. Bye, guys. Stay safe. <laughs> Don't ride boats. <laughs>